Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will understand about Option Greeks. So Option Greeks show us the sensitivity of the option premium to the different variables, wherein how an option premium will change. You know, considering uh, changes in price, in considering changes in time, changes in implied volatility is shown to us by Option Greeks. So we will learn just that in this video. So first of all, let's start this video by understanding where we will get to see Option Greeks. So we can navigate to option chain analytic in the concept. The link would be there in the description box below. Also, it would be there in the I card. So over here in concept option chain is completely free. Wherein uh, anybody who has signed up to concept can access this uh, analytic. It updates in real time. So over here we will get to see Delta, Theta, Vega and Gamma. Okay. So Gamma is a uh, second order Greek. So we will keep it towards the end. So first let's understand what is Delta, what is Theta, what is Vega. Okay. One by one. So for that, let me just take you to the calculator tool, okay, to calculate the option premiums. So let's say calculator. By the way, you can use the search panel and navigate uh, in any analytic in the application easily. All right. So now, symbol, we can select our uh, desired FNO instrument. Let's keep it nifty. Future price, we can give uh, our desired input or let's keep it CMP in this case. Expiry is self-explanatory. Strike is again self-explanatory. Evaluation date as of what date I want to evaluate the option premium for volatility. How much volatility I want to, uh, I'm expecting in the markets to calculate the option premium. So I'm saying 10%. So I want to evaluate the option premium. If the Nifty's price is uh, 20,279, expiry 7 December, strike price 2300. I want to evaluate it as of uh, 1st December. And if the volatility is 10%. So the moment I hit calculate, I'll get to see call premium as well as the put premium and the delta, the theta and the vega and the gamma. Okay. So all the Greeks are present over here. Now delta shows us the sensitivity of the option premium with respect to change in the underlying. Okay. How much one point movement in the underlying will affect my option premium is shown to us by delta. So what it is trying to tell us that if nifty goes up by uh, one point, this option will go up by 0 0.47 rupees and this option will go down by 0 0.52 rupees okay why because the put delta is negative now let's understand the uh, impact of it practically how the things work now let's say if i'm expecting nifty to go 10 points positive from here okay so this premium would be premium okay the current uh, market price the premium plus delta into points movement okay how much point the nifty has moved okay so sorry for my uh, bad handwriting but that is the formula now let's try to calculate that if i'm giving inputs 89 okay so previously i evaluated the option premium if uh, the future price was at 20279 now i am evaluating the option premium if the future price is at 20,289, which is 10 points up more from the current price. See, it went up by 0 0.47 into 10, right? So it roughly went up by 4.7 rupees. So that is delta for it. It will show us ki how much premium will move because of change in the underlying. Now, on the other hand, the put option has went down. So why it has went down? Because obviously, if the market goes up, then eventually the intrinsic value of the put option has to go down so that is the reason the put option delta is negative so one thing that we conclude is what is delta delta is it's showing us the sensitivity of the option premium with respect to the change in the underlying price now over here delta will also show us moneyness so let me just take you to the option chain tool in the application okay now if you see the deltas as you go in the money, the deltas are higher, right? If you see 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.9, right? So it also represents the probability of option to expire in the money, okay? So if the, in the, money, if the option is already in the money, it will always have the higher probability of expiring in the money, right? So that is the reason the deltas for in the money option is higher and for OTM options, the delta is lower because probability of those options turning in the money is very, very less. 
okay but these greeks they keep on changing as uh, the conditions in the market change as of now we need to understand the greeks considering that other factors in the market remain constant okay so whenever we are getting started uh, to learn greeks one thing that you should always understand that whenever i am looking at it i will consider that rest factors will remain same only then i will be able to understand the greeks so now to move ahead with let's understand uh, theta so what is theta theta is time value of money so we all know that every passing day option premium will get decayed because of passage of time by how much that is shown to us by theta okay how much premium would be decayed due to passage of time is shown to us by theta. Let's say if everything in the market remains the same, okay? Nifty price remains the same, expiry date remains the same, strike price remains the same, volatility also remains the same, but only if from 1st December, if we move to 2nd December, this premium will go down by 8.6 rupees, okay? 8.64 uh, to be precise. And this premium will also go down by 8.64 rupees to be precise okay now let's see the impact of that so this should typically quote around uh, uh, you know 892 right and this should typically or sorry this should typically quote around 90 right roughly somewhere around that and it should typically quote somewhere around 100 okay now let's try to see that let's see if I hold this option till tomorrow see roughly 90 and this is 100 okay why it is happening it is because of the theta what is decaying from the market now understand one thing regardless market being closed on saturdays and sundays still the theta will decay on saturdays and sundays whenever market is closed still the theta will decay now when i will get to see the effect so the effect is such that that the theta will decay relatively at a faster pace on uh, fridays in the second half and on Monday, when the market opens, the option will open with the DK itself, the DK of two days, which is Saturday and Sunday. In, this applies whenever there is a trading holiday as well. So that's theta for us. It's one of the most simplest things. How much premium will be killed or DK from the option because of passage of time. Coming to the third Greek, Vega. So apart from price, apart from time, there is one more thing which is affecting the option premium, which is volatility. Okay. But how much will volatility affect my option premium? That is shown to me by Vega. So it basically shows that if volatility goes up by 1% from the current level, how much premium will change because of that? Okay. So it is trying to tell us that 9.4 rupees, this premium will uh, go up by 9.4 rupees if volatility goes from 10% uh, up by 1%. Okay. So from 10% if the volatility is up by 1% it is trying to tell us that this premium will go up by 9.4 rupees. This premium will go up by 9.4 rupees. Now let's try to do that. Okay. So let's say if it goes to 11, see 99, 109. Let's say if it goes to 12, 108, 118, right? Let's say if it goes to 30, 118, 121. 28 okay so <clears throat> that's pretty much about vega now if the volatility goes down the premium will start falling because volatility and the option premiums are positively correlated just observe the premiums how they are going down as i decrease the volatility in the market so that is the reason we see that whenever uh, the ivs in the market whenever they are high we see the premiums getting pricey why they are getting pricey because of the vega component now coming to the last thing so gamma is a very, very small figure which gets activated or which uh, jumps up as we get closer to the expiry. But I'll just explain what gamma does. So gamma is basically how fast the delta will move. Okay. So it is second order derivative. It shows that how fast the delta will move. So higher the gamma, faster the delta will move and faster the premium will move. Okay. So it's ba it, it, it basically shows how much the delta will move because of change in the underlying okay so it's basically trying to show us the speed of uh, the movement uh, in the option premium okay delta is showing movement how much it will move but gamma is trying to show us how fast it will move higher the gamma faster the premium will move lower the gamma slower the premium will move generally gamma will uh, 
you know, spike up when we are closer to the expiry date. So let's see. Now we are on uh, 2nd of December. Let's evaluate the option premium as of Wednesday. See, it has gone to 0 0.0042. Now this 0 0.0042, it will spike the premium very, very fast because the delta will move very, very fast. So let's see. 99. Now you see the delta has changed, right? Why it has changed? Because of the gamma effect. And it changed drastically. Why? Because the gamma was playing into action. Now coming to the last part, row. Rho shows us the changes in option premium due to changes in rate of interest. But as of now, there may not be, you know, huge uh, changes in rate of interest day in, day out. So we don't need to really focus a lot uh, on the row part. So that was it from my side uh, for today's video. I hope uh, you liked this video. If you have liked it, do hit the like button, do hit the subscribe button. See you all in the next video and happy trading.